what's up friends in today's video I'm gonna be doing my client Courtney I hadn't seen her in like a few years <laughs> so this is when I started up again so I'm gonna start with prep I'm gonna push back her skin I'm using a cuticle tool you can get these from nail throne we sell these on the site and I'm just pushing back the skin lightly and carefully and then I'm gonna turn my tool around and scrape the rest of the scalp. You wanna just be gentle and careful just so you don't hurt your client, but you really wanna get that skin up because your acrylics will definitely not stick. If you have that there, you can see it, all that white stuff, that's all skin that has to go. I'm using a sanding band mandrel and uh, uh, some uh, medium sanding bands, and I have this on a super, super light speed. You, can you could see this turning, but I have this on a uh, one and a half speed but so it's really really light I'm just using this to buff off the shine um, on the nail I'm pushing back the skin again and then I'm going to go in with some other tools for the cuticle work. I like to spend a lot of time on cuticle work because that's really important if you want your enhancements to stick and last. And so I'm pushing back the skin again. You can see there's more skin that's coming up even though I've already done this. And then I'm going to use some cuticle tools here. So I'm using this tool is from Give Off Nails and um, I'm just going to use this around my cuticle area. I'm going to go down the left side and then I'm going to reverse my tool and go down the right side as well. You just want to be really gentle. You don't really need to use a lot of pressure or anything. This is just going to help you get up a little bit of that skin that you can see right there. And then again, like I said, I'm just going to reverse my tool um, and go down the other side right now. Okay, this next bit is a flame bit, but without the top. I get this from Get Buff Nails. I really like this tool. So this will really, really get any little bit that's really stuck there. And I'm just going around down the left side first to start. And then again, I'm going to reverse my file and go down the right side. I brush off all the dust and then I'm going to go in with a little lint-free wipe here. And I'm going to try to get all the dust that's stuck around the cuticle area as well there, you can see. And really, really scrub the nail. Get rid of all the dust. Because like cuticle skin, acrylics won't stick to dust. Okay, the tips I'm going to be using are the Glitter Bell Stiletto Tips. She wanted some stiletto nails. So I'm just going to glue them on with the Effortless Adhesion Glue. And then I'm just going to do that on all of the nails here. And then I'm going to take my finger off and sometimes push down on the corners to make sure that those are nice and even. You'll see me do that with my thumbs. And sometimes your glove might get stuck and leave a little black mark that you have to remove. But anyways, I'm just pushing that down to make sure it's nice and stuck onto the sides. And then I'm going to apply a clear base before I do anything else. I just don't really like to file the nails. Um when they're flimsy like this. <laughs> so I always apply my clear base first. But of course, before your clear base, make sure you apply a dehydrator and primer. So I'm just applying that only on the nail. Don't apply that um, on the, on the um, tip. <laughs> and then I would apply just one swipe of primer. And I'm not applying the bead up to the cuticle area. I'm just applying it where I put the primer and blending that over top of this. Uh, tip and then I'm gonna file this so you guys will see that in a sec but you guys can see I'm just going in with my um, dehydrator to start on her real nail letting it dry going back to clear and then going in with a little bit of primer we're gonna reapply primer when we're done so I'm just applying a bit of the primer I really scrub that in on the middle finger though scrub scrub and then I'm gonna go in with a small bead of clear acrylic place that down clean off my brush and then I'm gonna push that close into the cuticle area, I guess, on this finger. You don't have to do that on the other finger. I just did um, 
the overlap and then I'm just pulling that down because like I said this really doesn't matter I am going to be filing these it doesn't have to be perfect or anything this is just for that nice uh, security uh, so it feels nice and secure before I file so I'm just placing this on brushing this down moving on and then we'll come back and file all the nails before we even apply anything on top and they're not going to be this long either So I am filing the nails. I'm going over top of the nails. Um, you can't really see right now. I'll get back in frame in a sec. I'm going over the whole nail. I'm going to shorten these with my hand file. And then I'm just going to file them nice and thin so that we can apply our acrylic on top. So I just use my um, file here to shorten off and basically just like file off that very tip. And then I'm going in and reshaping it into a stiletto shape. So the um, hand file I use is my metal file boards from Glitter Bells that we sell on Nail Throne, and then I use the refills. Um, I'm using the 180 on one side and 100 on the other, I think, but lately I've just been doing 150s. So whatever works for you. So again, I'm shortening these and then filing the side, but you can make, you can see it, you could make a really, really nice tapered coffin shape with these stiletto um, tips. Once I've shaped all the nails and I'm happy with them, uh, I am looking at them, making sure they're similar lengths. And then I'm gonna go in and do some TikToking, you can see here. Um, so I did file a lot of the clear off her natural nails. So I am gonna go in with my um, dehydrator and primer all over again, just so that there's nothing missed. And I'm going to just start all right now. So she has a nice, thin clear base, everything's shaped and we can get started. Okay, so I'm gonna be going in with this two colors here. This is porcelain powder and then the loose glitter is called um, Precious, it's got little stars in it. And then I'm gonna be also using like a, a light glitter. I think I used um, Misty Cloud. So starting with her pinky, I'm going in and I'm just gonna be applying that porcelain color at the cuticle area and fading it down. I just have a really small bead because her pinky is small. The brush I'm using is from Glitter Balls as well. We carry Glitter Balls, basically everything, Glitter Balls brushes as well. I really like um, the pinched pastel brushes. I just like a nice pinched brush. So anyways, I go really, really carefully into the cuticle area with my brush, and then I clean off my brush and I use the tip of my brush to fade that down the nail. This doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to cover this with glitter. So I'll show you that again. The finger is pointed downward too. So you don't want the finger to be flat when you're working, so you point it downward a little bit, and that way the gravity will make sure it doesn't fall into the cuticle area. I am also pulling up her um, skin a little bit so that I can get nice and close without touching her skin. Then I use the tip of my brush to get close into the sides and then fade that down. 
this is such an easy simple design I wanted to do today um, so every nail is kind of the same and then I'm gonna hand paint on top just some swirls which was fun so again I'm just patting and pushing cleaning off my brush to make sure that the tip of my brush is nice and flat so I get close into that cuticle area and then I'm just patting flattening and pulling this down the nail and I'm leaving the very tip clear I'm not trying to cover the tip with porcelain Here's what that looks like. I'm gonna go in with the misty cloud. So I'm just applying that on the nail and then fading that up and then this doesn't have to be perfect or anything. I think I just applied this down so that, I don't actually know, did I apply this? No, I just applied it down because I liked it. <laughs> so I'm applying the misty cloud down first on the very tip and then I'm just fading that up the nail. This is just a super, super pretty fine glitter. Um, it's a pre mixed glitter though, it's mixed with acrylic. But you can see it has some like blue and gold kind of flakes in it. Just using the tip of my brush to kind of blend that up the nail and then fade this down. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect or anything. This is a super, super easy, simple design. <laughs> now I'm picking up a bead of clear and I'm going right in with the. Oh, so pretty. Um, precious glitter and I'm just moving around the stars I didn't want that many stars you just want a couple stars on this design but the precious glitter is super super sparkly so I'm just going over um, what I had there already which was the misty cloud with the precious and then placing the stars where I want them as well because they're really really cute so again loose glitter is just loose glitter so you do have to pick up a bead of clear acrylic if you want to kind of mix it on the nail and have it stick so that's what I'm doing Once I'm done that on both hands, I'm going to encapsulate this design. So her pinky's small, I'm just picking up a small bead, placing that down far away from the cuticle area, and then I use my bead, the tip of my bead, to push that close to the cuticle area, keep my apex in place while dragging this down for coverage. Whenever I do stilettos like this, I really like to work on the very, very tip here. I'm going to go back to that nail, but I like to work on the tip to make sure that there's enough product there so that you don't break off the tip. So I'm just going to leave that and I'm going to go back to it. But on this nail, I'm just applying my bead, cleaning off my brush, and then moving that close towards the cuticle area, fading the sides down, covering up and encapsulating the whole nail. And I think I end up adding more product for my apex and, like I said, to fix the tip. So right now I'm just encapsulating everything.
So here I'm going back to apply another bead at the, where my apex should be, and I'm just going to create an apex. And you can see I'm working on that tip. Make sure that tip has enough product so you don't accidentally file it all off and have your client break her tip. <laughs> You can see me going in here and I'm applying more product, like I said, at the tip. I'm just pushing that down and then I went out of frame here, but I am trying to get the tip nice and even to match the rest of the nail. And I do that on all the nails. Just make sure that the tip has enough product on it and it has a nice apex before finish finally. After all the nails are done, I'm going to go in with a small bit around the cuticle area just to smooth and even that out and around the nail. Just using this to debulk a little bit before I go in and hand file. This bit's really, really nice. It doesn't take too much product off because I really didn't want to take a lot of product off because I like to do a lot of my filing by hand. So I just use this to debulk and get nice around the cuticle area. It's nice and um, safe so you're not going to cut your client. And then I'm going to shape the nail with my metal file board, which is super, super great for stilettos because it keeps everything nice and straight. So I'm just going in at the sides, try not to file the, where the natural nail would be, and but just make sure that you have that nice point first. And then I use my file to go over the whole nail, smooth and even it out, up and down at the tip and around the cuticle area. And I'm going to do that on all the nails. After shaping them really well with my metal file board, I'm actually switching to a um, just a regular file just so I can go around a little bit easier because like I said, the metal files are not very flexible, which is great for shaping, but um, I needed a more flexible file for going around the cuticle area. So I just switched to a regular hand file for shaping a little bit more.
after I've done the nails, you're going to want to make sure you get all the dust off. So clean off all the dust and then I'm going in and cleansing the nails again with a lint-free wipe and some alcohol. And then we're going to do a little bit of hand painting, easy hand painting. Before hand painting, I like to apply a matte top coat and that way your paint will just go on nice and smooth over top of that matte top coat. You can still top coat shiny on top after, but I just find it makes it a lot easier when you want to paint on top. So I'm applying my matte top coat and I'm going to cure that. I'm just applying it on the three nails that I'm going to be putting the uh, gel on and then the other two nails are going to be doing crystals, so I'm not putting matte top coat on those ones. On her middle finger and her thumb, I'm going to be doing a crystal cluster kind of swirl design. So I'm just using the moon flare crystals. And then the glue I'm using is the effortless adhesion glue from our site. Um, my head got in the way here in my hair, sorry. But I'm just applying the crystals along, doing like a swirl design, just so it kind of matches when I do hand painting. I did this set a while ago, but I am using the Unbelievable Gels. I don't remember 100% which ones I used, but um, if I do, I will put them in my description box. But I'm using a small, thin brush from Glitterballs. This is one of the 100 or 20 millimeter brushes, I think they're called. And um, I'm just applying, I'm just doing like a swirl. So basically you just want to do a really thin line at the cuticle area and then thicken it right at the center and then lift up your brush a little bit too. Um, make that thinner line. You can't really see what I'm doing, but I will make sure to I think you guys will see what I'm doing in a sec in my next frame um, I'm using orange and Purple which I think was lavender azure and then the pink was such a sweetie I think but again, I will check and then put them in my description box So the unbelievable gels are a one coat coverage easy to hand paint um, They cure tack free. They're amazing. So like I you saw there I just did that I got her to put her hand in the light and now you guys can kind of see a little better what I'm doing um, so if you mess up at all on your lines you don't really have to worry because if you're doing numerous lines you're gonna kind of cover up any mistakes you make so just kind of go with it especially with your first line so here they are and I'm going in with that purple so you can see I'm kind of like placing that down I made a small mistake so I can wipe that off because I cured it cleaning off my brush and now I can go back in and then I'm pushing down and then I'm lifting up my brush so I'm just doing one line placing that down and then pushing down and then lifting off and then if you don't get all the product you just apply more and like I said if you make any mistakes you can just go over it with the next line After I've gotten the three colors down, I decided to go in with a silver. Silver or gold or anything metallic will really, really help 
um, make this pop as well as hide any lines or mistakes you make. So I'm just going over the side there. Anything that's a little too thick, I would use this to go over. It's a lot e it's like really smooth and easy to use since it's metallic. Even easier than the other buttercreams. And it'll just add a pop of metallic sparkle to the set. So I added it on the one side and then you can see me here. I'm going to also add it right there. The fun thing about these swirl designs is you can really do anything. It always looks cool. After that's been done and cured, you can see that you could just leave it as is and they would be shiny on top of the mat, but I do want these nails to be shiny. So I am going to go in with my glitter balls, no white top coat and top coat all of these nails. And I'm also going to top coat around the crystals. I'm not going to put it on the crystals, just around the crystals, push it up close to the crystals just to keep them nice and secure. And then I will get her to cure these. Um, I'm going to put cuticle oil on and then I will have her wash her hands. And when you do see through nails like this, you can also apply your clear underneath the nail, but make sure that you wipe with your uh, gloved hand to make sure that nothing's too thick. And you can have her cure, like flip her hand in the light and cure underneath if you want. Just a tip. And here is how that set turned out. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. I do have an acrylic design course coming up on Sunday. So if you guys are interested in joining that, make sure that you check out the website. I will leave the link in my description box. There's $5 off right now. Um, there's only a few spaces left. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.